The first one is singing. Yeah, singing and then dancing and then playing musical instruments. Those are the first three. Uh, from Peter, dear Baba, explain. Or ex, I'm sorry. Please accept my humble obeisances. Could you give another example of Krishna speaking, quote, funny words so that we can better understand the mood? Oh, I would have to read it. I wouldn't try to, to improvise, uh, you know, or recite uh, something like that. But um, if you want, you can look up on the internet this um, Vidagda Madhava. Look up this play. I think the text is on the internet. I also have it, but... I haven't posted it because it's very, very esoteric. And there's all kinds of uh, narrations in there. And also there's a scripture called Ujwala Nilaman. And this is very esoteric. Uh, these, are, these are all, you know, not for beginners. Because they deal with extremely confidential subject matters. So we're trying to go over the philosophy first. So that you understand when you encounter this kind of material, what it's like. Geet Govinda is another one. There's so many songs by Jayadev Goswami that uh, touch on these subjects. And they may contain some dialogue or I mean, uh, you know, I, I try not to read them myself too much because then I wouldn't be able to preach. I would just sit here and cry. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, uh, when we relish these things, we want to do it very privately. Mm. It's not so much for public discussion. Just to know that it's there and the meaning. That's all right. But then as far as actual relishing, these pastimes should be done in private. It's confidential. Uh, from NC. My question is, from the qualities of persons who are desirous of becoming great personalities, conversation between deity of earth and Yam, Yamaja, after proper execution, it is written the, quote, possession of all objects of enjoyment. What does it mean? Oh, that means that a great personality, they have nice clothes, nice vehicles, nice house, uh, nice wife or husband, um, they have, like in the, in the Vedic style, they would have all kinds of weapons, they would have wealth, they would have uh, some uh, position in society, they're not unknown, you know, they're not um, just beggars or something like that, but they have a very nice position. Any great personality is usually born in a very nice family, for example, and because of that, um, their family members will protect them and they have so many advantages and so many privileges because of their family connection. Uh, it's, a great personality never appears in isolation. Usually their servants or their devotees or their family members uh, surround them or uh, you know, they may be a king. In, there are many, many great kings described in the Vedas and they had their own guards and their own troops. And their, you know, so much wealth and so many, so many things like that. Uh, just like uh, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada, he had, he had all these marble palaces all over the world. <laughs> you know, everywhere that he went, he had like first class rooms and everything very, very nice, you know. Um, his, you know, he always wore first class silk dhotis and and very nice coat and everything. Uh, and it's not because he enjoyed these things, but because as a great personality, it, the style is important. You know, um, if if I was to, uh, you know, if I was to call, show up on these broadcasts, you know, wearing shorts and a cat hat, <laughs> and you know, and uh, with a can of beer. You know, <laughs> You know, like we should chant Hare Krishna. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, what would everybody think? You know, if I talked in my New Jersey accent? You know, first of all, there's the proposition of the spiritual world. Okay? And then, 
<laughs> you know, see, people wouldn't accept it. So it's for if you if you want to do great service, you have to adopt at least some of the qualities of a great personality. You know, and so we have very nice computers, very nice camera, <laughs> very nice prashadam, <laughs> as, as much as possible. But as far as um, it's appropriate, you see, I mean, I know of devotees, there's one devotee who I personally know who spends over a million dollars a year on travel alone. You know, why doesn't he just set up a rig like this and, and broadcast on the internet? Why does he have to travel all over the world? You know? Srila Prabhupada did that, but there was no internet then either. Mm. See? I mean, just like Srila Prabhupada, imagine what if Srila Prabhupada was present today, how influential he could be. Wow, you know, with his abilities and his potency and everything to be on the internet. Oh, man, I mean, it would be so, so fabulous. So, uh, instead, Srila Prabhupada had to recruit so many hundreds of devotees just to staff his book publishing and distribution efforts. He had to, he had to make such big, big arrangements involving lots of money and very complicated business uh, just to get enough people to be able to publish his translated books and get them out to the public. That was what his spiritual master had ordered him to do. And that was his first priority. Uh, he, had, he had to go through so much trouble just to get some books out. I mean, now, you know, I just write a book up on my computer and upload it to lulu.com and like everybody in the world can buy it mm. instantly. The writing is, takes longer than anything, you know. But in, in Srila Prabhupada's time, you write a book, that's only the first step, you know, and then it has to be edited, and then it has to be typeset, and then it has to be printed, and then it has to be bound, and it has to be shipped, and it has to be warehoused, then it has to be distributed, and then somebody has to sell it. Oh, man. So Prabhupada, in order to do all this, he adopted the style of like a Maharaj. You know, it's his style. It's not my style. <laughs> I'm much more funky down home. <laughs> mm. But still, you know, I try to speak with a neutral accent. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, I try to use uh, basic vocabulary as far as possible. Um, I try to present things very logically and nicely and uh, to, so that people can understand. That, that way there will be benefit. So I don't have to worry about myself because I already got the benefit. You know? So it's not like I'm, I'm really into you know, silk dillies and all that stuff. I'm really not. You know? I much prefer to be informal and relaxed. And then we can speak very freely on all these subjects as far as it's appropriate and answer questions about any subject. You know. Uh, because we, we don't have any fixed agenda. You know? It's not like we're trying to build a big, big temple or you know, collect a lot of money or anything like that. But what we are mainly interested in is in educating people. Because if we can effectively educate people in the principles of Vedic knowledge, all those other things will happen automatically. Uh, they'll do it. They will organize themselves. They'll get it together on their own intelligence. So, uh, therefore, the, sometimes the, uh, the style or the paraphernalia of a great personality are appropriate, uh, depending on what someone's trying to do. Like, when I'm in India, if I'm going to see, like, the head of some college, yeah, I'm going to dress up, you know, get nice new clothes and everything, first class. Uh, but if I'm going to some little village out in the, in the back, woods or the hills of Kerala or someplace. No, I'm just going to wear old pants and a t-shirt and, you know, go down to the river, put on a gumsha, you know. 
That's how you meet people in a place like that. You know? So it's a, it depends on the, the situation, what's appropriate. But in general, we find that great personalities, uh, especially the Vedic personalities, they have, they have everything. And they engage in Krishna's service. That's the conclusion. A uh, question from Don. Dear Babaji, please accept my humble obeisances. How much do you think a person will need to be able to come and live in Indi India? How much what? <coughs> Money. Money? Doesn't say, but I'm assuming so. Well, it depends on how you live. If you're just living a very simple